So I've speculated about new rides and attractions at this place and I've said my opinions on a few of their rides, but personally, what would I do if I owned the Thorpe Park Resort? Now I know what you're probably thinking, giving Thorpe Park's ownership to me is probably the worst idea you could ever have. And indeed it is, but I bought the place not so long ago <laughs> for a video, so I can own it now. Now of course if I did own the place in real life, then I do. And you'd have to factor in there's obviously limits to money and space you can work within, uh, how quickly you can build stuff, but that doesn't apply here. So I'm going to go through the park on um, the best ultimate marketing decision platform ever, Google Maps, and talk to you guys about what I would add, remove, or even update. Um, so yeah, this idea also was originally by um, my good friend, Theme Park Badger. So uh, link in the description to his channel. Yeah. So here we are. We're going to make our way round the park. Uh, first of all, uh, the first thing I want to do is destroy everything. <laughs> But no, we walk in uh, through the main entrance, and obviously, you got the shark hotels or the multiple metal containers. And personally, of course, they had this plan a few years back, but um, I would remove that hotel and replace the hotel with another one not so far away, which... Please do that eventually. You walk through the dome, which I think is a nice thing to keep, and then you see, right in front of you, the beach section with Amity Beach, Depth Charge, and still called whack 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 now i'm not 100 percent certain what i'd do with this area because i'd either massively rework it or i would completely remove it and try and build some other coaster there but we'll leave that <laughs> obviously over here it's pretty obvious we're gonna keep the swarm toilets and we are gonna remove the swarm the huge thing which i probably should have left till later uh the back of swarm island which is clearly somewhere they're probably gonna eventually build a coaster i would probably build um a b and mini dive or a, a somewhat large scale dive coaster because I think that'd be cool um, and obviously the other option I'd say is of course the RMC. If we work backwards from here I would personally remove Angry Birds Land because when was Angry Birds made like 2007 and make that entire area just Amity and then I'd also remove the 4D cinema and replace it with a trackless dark ride similar to Ratatouille, which the French-themed rat ride could work in the middle of a American speedway. I think purely because of how popular it is to keep the dodgems. And uh, Storm in a Teacup, it's a classic. Uh, the Ben and Jerry Scoop Shop. Oh, who's that? I think a pretty obvious one is that Rumble Rapids could do with some more um, places where you actually get a bit wet on it. I'd say the jungle. It's a decent little area. Obviously the back of where the Inferno shop is, or I'm a Celebrity, or Vulcan Peak, or Tra- How many things has it had in- That clearly, with trailers, has been used as a very good maze space, so uh, I'd, I'd probably keep that, even though you could, you could probably fit some sort of ride there. Darren Brown's Ghost Train now. If I was a common enthusiast, I would say, oh, remove it. D destroy it off the earth. I actually quite like Darren Brown's Ghost Train when it works, um, so I I'd keep it. I've just caused a war in the comments. Working our way around to Old Town, I would remove Slammer. It's been standing but not operating for four years now. And I'd also remove Black Mirror Labyrinth because... Obviously, we know what's happening with Old Town. We've got Exodus. And even so, I would still install Exodus because I think it looks really good. Another obvious one, Colossus. I'd either retrack it or get some new trains. Saw the ride and then we work our way around. And... This area, oh my lord, this entire queue is just overgrown and the the boat is, <laughs> it's sinking, guys. I'm going to remove that and um, we'll replace it. You know, we'll, we'll do some replacing right now with a Mac Power Splash, if you don't know what one of them are. Uh, it's like a very much a shuttle style up and down and then over a little hill in the middle. But at the end of it, there's a huge splash. And I think right on the lake, that would work really well. Coming down here where the cantina is and obviously... Bouncilla's area cannot be touched. I don't think I'd touch any of these four flat rides because I find them all enjoyable. Uh, their cycles are a bit short, so maybe maybe we'll up that a little bit. And I think that is pretty much. No, it's not it because I've forgotten about this piece of shit. Storm surge. Now, I think it's pretty obvious what I'm going to do with this. Burn it. Just burn it. And I'd replace that with a Sky Rocket 2. One of these things. Um, because they, they'd fit quite nicely in that area. Yeah, I think that'd be cool. But yeah, that's my thoughts on what I would do if I owned Thought Park. What would you guys do? Would you remove stealth? 
Would you remove the saw ride? What would you do? Uh, leave in the comments below.